there are also some uh, many examples like uh, inoligation formation of inolate and in an sd and basic medium wo hum baad mein discuss karenge pehle hum karte hain ki ye jo yahan se shuru kiya tha इथिन रिएक्ट विद एच बी आर तो इथाइल ब्रोमाइड कैसे बनता है हो दी इथिन रिएक्ट विद एच बी आर एंड वाई दी इथिन रिएक्ट विद एच बी आर वाई इट रिएक्ट बिकॉज इट एक्ट एज अ न्यूक्लियोफाइल इट इज इलेक्ट्रॉनिक स्पीशीज सो द बाई इलेक्ट्रॉन क्लाउड ऑफ दिस इथिन दैट लाइज बॉ एंड बिलो द प्लेन दैट अटैक ऑन दिस हाइड्रोजन हाइड्रोजन को अगर इलेक्ट्रॉन मिल जाएंगे पाइप इलेक्ट्रॉन्स जो डबल बॉन्ड के हैं तो दीज टू इलेक्ट्रॉन्स देर गो विदीन डी आर नेगेटिव आइन इज प्रोड्यूस्ड सो एट वन कार्बन दैट हाइड्रोजन इज एडेड सो गेट एन इंटरमीडिएट सी एच थ्री सी एच टू पॉजिटिव प्लस बी आर नेगेटिव आइन so this intermediate is a carbocation this is now electrophile and bromide ion is a nucleophile it attack on it ultimately product form is ch3 ch2 br so here the pi electron clouds of uh, this ethene the pi electron cloud of ethene that attacks on h positive ion of hbr If we use HCl or uh, you use H2SO4, so same reaction will take place like H2SO4, and we have uh, this structure of sulfuric acid. So it will take out this, and sulfate ion is produced. It means here alkene that is attacking on electrophile, or in other in other word we can say that electrophile is uh, going to add to a carbon carbon double bond. So this is a type of uh, electrophilic. addition reaction so this is a type of electrophilic addition reaction let's take one more example if we have a this type of alkene and i'm adding h2so4 to it as the medium okay in the presence of water so What do you think about this reaction? What will happen when some alkene is treated with H2SO4 and water? Means, आपने इथीन को एसिडिक मीडियम में डाल दिया. So what will happen actually? First, this uh, alkene we know that there is a more electron cloud, is electron rich species. It act as a nucleophile. It act as nucleophile. So it will abstract proton from where? From sulfuric acid, like. This is the structure of H2SO4. Okay, so this double bond that take hydrogen and sulfate ion is produced. So we have O negative S double bond O S double bond O OH. Now, according to the stability of the intermediate formed. Like carbocation is formed, that this hydrogen may be added to this carbon atom or this carbon atom. But generally, this carbon atom, this hydrogen atom is added to that carbon atom so that the carbocation form, the intermediate form, that is a more stable. So the hydrogen is so the hydrogen is added to see here, and positive charge is here. This is your intermediate. तो कार्बोकोटाइन की स्टेबिलिटी कौन सा बनेगा ये हम पढ़ते हैं डिस्कस अभी थोड़ी देर में तो पहले हम रिएक्शन को देख लें अब ये इंटरमीडिएट बन गया अब हमारे पास क्या है एक तो वाटर है दूसरा हमारे पास कौन सी स्पीशीज है ये सल्फेट आए विच इज न्यूक्लियोफाइल आवर इंटरमीडिएट दिस दिस इज अलेक्ट्रोफाइल पॉजिटिव चार्ज ऑन कार्बन एटम नो विच विल एक्ट एज अल्यूक्लियोफाइल सल्फेट आए और वाटर वाटर वाई नॉट सल्फेट आए बिकॉज सल्फेट आयन के ऊपर जो नेगेटिव चार्ज है दैट इज स्टेबलाइज बाय रेजोनेंस वो रेजोनेंस के जगह ऐसे जो है वो स्टेबलाइज हो जाएगा इस साइड भी और इस साइड भी सो इट इज स्टेबल सो इट नॉट एक्ट एज न्यूक्लियोफाइल सो द वाटर इज न्यूक्लियोफाइल सो इट विल एडिट हियर 
on the both side because we know that carbocation is trigonal plane geometry. So we we'll discuss later on the geometry, the stereo chemistry of the reaction. So first of all, we are adding water here. What is the product actually? And we have O H two positive and H. And we know that nature don't like charge. So the positive charge is neutralized when it lose one hydrogen. So when it lose proton from here, you get the final product that is your OH here. This one. So ये आपका reactant था और ये आपका बन गया product. इसको हम hydration कहते हैं. Addition of water. लेकिन ये इसकी भी टाइप क्या है इस टाइप ऑफ इलेक्ट्रोफिलिक एडिशन रिएक्शन अब नेक्स्ट रिएक्शन डिस्कस कर रहे हैं इसमें तो उसमें हम कार्बो का टाइम का देखेंगे सपोज द रिएक्शन इज नाउ से सी एच टू डबल बॉन्ड सी से दिस दिस इज टू मिथाइल प्रोटीन This is your two methyl protein, and we are adding it to HCl. So first step में क्या होगा? Because HCl में hydrogen है, that is a nucleophile. अब C N negative भी है, that is a nucleophile, but nucleophile cannot approach a lichen because a lichen is already a electron-rich species. So your alkene will act as nucleophile, and your this hydrogen that will act as electrophile. So this alkene attack on hydrogen. Now two products are possible. So one is when when your hydrogen is attached to this carbon, and we get a positive charge on this carbon, like this. Second is when you have positive charge here. And hydrogen is attached on, is attached to this carbon. So these two carbocations are formed. This is your tertiary butyl carbocation. Tertiary butyl carbocation. And this is your iso butyl carbocation. This is one degree, okay? and this is your. Three degree. Now three degree carbocation, we know that is more stable than one degree. How I can explain? Say in three degree carbocation, we have a say this is your three degree carbocation. So here is a methyl group. Here is a methyl group. And this carbon has a positive charge, so it is a p orbital unhydrolyzed, having a positive. This p orbital is empty. We know its p orbital is empty. Now this sigma bond here. So I will make it orbital picture of this sigma bond like this. It has a two electrons. This sigma bond has a two electron. So when there is a positive charge, we know that nature don't like charge. So to neutralize this charge. The adjacent sigma bond, CH bond, that push electron towards this empty orbital. This filled sp3 hybridized orbital push electrons towards empty p unhybridized orbital. So, उसके साथ क्या होगा? This carbon also gets some positive charge. It means we can say that this positive charge is now delocalized. But which carbon hydrogen bond can give electron? Which carbon hydrogen bond can give electron to this empty p orbital, which has a proper alignment, which has a proper symmetry? All the three CH bond at a time they can't give electron to this empty p orbital because for the for this overlapping there must be some proper alignment. So at a time only one CH bond. This का मतलब ये नहीं है कि ये CH bond है जो proper alignment में नहीं है तो वो उसको electron नहीं दे सकता. देगा कब देगा वेन इट रोटेट बिकॉज देर इज अ कार्बन कार्बन सिंगल बॉन्ड बिटवीन दीज टू कार्बन एंड देर इज अ फ्री रोटेशन वी नो देर इज अ फ्री रोटेशन अराउंड दिस बॉन्ड कंफर्मेशन स्ट्रक्चर 
So it, it, it rotates automatically. Or so when it rotates either this bond or this bond or this bond that give electrons to the empty P orbital. It means your positive charge is delocalized now. So delocalization of positive charge means its intensity is reduced. So if its intensity is reduced means it becomes stable. Because carbocation is reactive only because of the presence of positive charge. If anything, any entity which is attached to it reduces its positive charge, its stability automatically increases. So the adjacent CH bond, when it is in proper alignment, it donates electron to the empty p orbital of carbocation carbon that make it stable by delocalization is positive charge. So delocalization utni jada hogi jitne sigma uske adjacent carbon ko sigma bolte hain alpha alpha carbon pe jitne bhi uske hydrogen jada jitne jaise isme hydrogen hai 1 2 3 to ye teenon denge aise ye teen hai ye bhi teen hai so in this structure there are overall non uh, nine CH sigma bond. There are nine CH sigma bond which can give electron to the carbocation carbon and make it stable. Now, just compare this. It has only one this this positive charge because now we have a positive charge here. This is and this is a, a sigma CH bond. You can draw it like this. So this is a type of overlapping. So only one CH bond is there. It means here the delocalization of charge is more. There are nine CH sigma bond and positive charge is delocalized. All the nine CH sigma bond they turn by turn when they are in proper alignment they give electrons to the carbocation empty p orbital. But in this case there is only one CH bond. So which is more stable? It means we can say this three degree is more stable. And this process, this phenomena by donating the sigma bond electrons to the empty p orbital is known as hyperconjugation this is also called this is also called low bond resonance so this is hyperconjugation these sigma electrons they are not totally donated to the p orbital keep in mind these sigma electrons they are not totally donated to the empty p orbital they are just pushed toward that carbon to make the intensity of positive charge less so this this sigma bond or this sigma bond, they turn by turn when they are in proper alignment. At a time only one CH because that CH bond give electron pair to the this empty p orbital which are in proper alignment. ऐसे नहीं है कि कोई भी p orbital जब वो proper alignment में आएगा तो donate करेगा लेकिन ऐसा भी नहीं है कि ये दूसरे दो जो हैं वो electron दे नहीं सकते वो भी आएंगे proper alignment में क्यों आएंगे क्यों because there is a free rotation around the carbon carbon single bond के around free rotation है तो turn by turn सभी आएंगे तो सभी पार्टिसिपेट करेंगे सभी उसको इलेक्ट्रॉन पेयर जो है वो उसकी तरफ पुश करेंगे तो न्यूट्रलाइज इट्स पॉजिटिव चार्ज मेकिंग इट मोर स्टेबल सो नाउ वी हैड साइडेड ऑन बेस्ड ऑन द हाइपर कंजुगेशन दैट 3 डिग्री कार्बोकैटायन इज मोर स्टेबल ड्यू टू दिस नाउ दिस क्लोराइड आयन व्हिच इज प्रोड्यूस्ड हियर एंड नाउ दिस इज अ न्यूक्लियोफाइल एंड दिस इज योर इलेक्ट्रोफाइल सो दिस न्यूक्लियोफाइल नाउ ऐड हियर and the final product from the CH3, C, CH3, CH3, Cl. So this is your major product form. Major product means small amount of uh, another product is also formed when this chloride ion attack on this carbon. We have CH2 and uh, Cl and C, CH3 and CH3. This is your minor product. Minor means which is formed in very small amount. So this phenomena in which one reactant molecule has a two ways, its behavior is different. It, its behavior is different means it gives two product, different products. But the two different products are not in a one is to one ratio. One product is a major, like 90%, another product is 10%. It means when this molecule, when this alkene reacts with HCl, so this is a major product. Why? Because this pathway is a less free energy of activation. More stable intermediate is formed. And if 90-10 ratio is there, and this phenomena is called regioselectivity. This phenomena is called regioselectivity. 
So this reaction is highly, highly reduced selector means when one product is 90%, other is 10%. When one product is 70%, other is 30%, that is not highly reduced selector, that is moderately reduced selector. Okay. And when both the products in a ratio of 55 and 45, that is a mild reduced selector. So reduced selectivity is of three types. So major means uh, highly reduced selector means if the product is formed in the ratio of 90 is to 10. Major product 90%, minor product is 10%. Now, so when the, this intermediate is uh, carbocation, then what happened? Very different <coughs> phenomena take place. Suppose uh, we have a, a reactant <coughs> that is CH3, CH3H, CH double bond, CH2. So this is your uh, three methyl butene. 3-methyl-butene. So when you are going to add HCl to it, so it will be the product. Now, in this case, what happened there? There is a, these two carbons. So, where the hydrogen is added? Hydrogen is added to that carbon so that a stable carbocation is formed. This is also known as a Markovnikov rule. Markovnikov rules mean kya tha? Your H positive ion will be added to that carbon of the carbon carbon double bond so that a stable carbocation is formed. Your H positive ion or electrophile is added to that carbon of the carbon carbon double bond so that a stable carbocation is formed. So, where you add, you add this H positive ion. If you add your H positive ion here, positive charge will be here. If you add your H positive ion here, positive charge will be here. So, the stable uh, intermediate form is your CH. This this will be your more stable carbocation, two degree carbocation. This is called Markovnikov rule. Markovnikov rule is based upon the you know is a stability of intermediate. So now this is your two degree carbocation. So. Due to hyperconjugation, it is stabilized by 3 CH bond. 2 on right side, sorry, uh, 4 CH bond. There is a CH3. So these 3 CH bond are adjacent to C carbocation empty orbital. And one, this bond is also adjacent to this. So there, are, there will be a 4 CH bond which are, which are making stabilize this uh, carbocation. Now, the thing is, when such carbocation is formed, so rearrangement is also possible. How we know that rearrangement is possible? Because this carbon in the structure is a 3 degree carbon. So rearrangement me kya hoga? This uh, hydride ion shift on this carbon along with electron. So we get another structure that is CH3, C, CH3, CH2, CH3, positive charge here. Now it is your 3 degree carbocation. Now in this case, how many alpha or how many CH bonds are there which are make, making stable this carbocation? There are three, this side, three, this side, two, this side. So eight CH bonds are there. Also, we get three plus one, four. So obviously this is more stable. So it will be realized in this way. So during any chemical reaction, when the chemical reaction takes place, we are just adding HCl to this uh, reactant molecules. So intermediate is formed. When the intermediate is formed, then the reaction goes through that pathway in which there is a free or there is a less free energy of activation. So this is less stable, yeah. this is less stable, and it is it's changed to more stable carbocation. Okay. Now your chloride ion, <coughs> which is produced from here. That chloride ion is a nucleophile and this species is electrophile. It is giving lone pair of electron to the empty p orbital of carbocation. This carbon has an empty p orbital. There is only 6 electrons. And this chlorine has a one lone pair extra. This needs one electron lone pair. So forming a final product. That is CH3, C, CH3, Cl, CH2, CH3.
So this is your major product fault. So this happens uh, due to the rearrangement. This, this rearrangement is uh, called hydride shift. Hydride shift. Hydride means H negative. So similar rearrangement is also possible when there is a methyl shift. <clears throat> so let's take an example. Now, so this is a 3 3 dimethyl butene. So then when you are adding HCl, the intermediate formed is CH3, 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 CH positive here, and CH3. This is 2 degree. Now this 2 degree carbocation has only 3 CH bond, which is making its stable which is responsible for the delocalization of positive charge okay now it undergo a rearrangement by this methyl shift so it form a ch3 c ch3 ch here is a ch3 ch3 and here is a positive charge now there are about seven carbon ch bond which are making it stable so this is more stable more hyperconjugation so 3 dB carbocation is more stable. Okay. Now the chloride ion is the lone pair attack on this electrophile, forming a final product that is CH3 C CH3 CH. So the, these are the reactions, simple reactions of alkene by which it acts as a nucleophile and it may add to any of the electrophile. Every reaction, see in the first step and the second step, every reaction that is a combination of just electrophile and a nucleophile. So this type of shift is known as a methyl shift. Methyl shift. Now, one more thing is possible when a carbocation is formed as an intermediate. Uh, what is possible? That is, if we have a say this type of uh, this type of alkene and adding say HBr here what will be the product first of all see this portion of the molecule is electrophile sorry nucleophile it's going to add on a this H Br will be out so H can't be added according to Marconi rule where we have a uh, stable carbocation. So stable carbocation is formed when positive charge will be here. So the intermediate formed is like this. So it is this. Say so this is your number one, two, three, four, and five. Now when there is a five membered or six, three membered or four membered rings are present adjacent to carbocation, because these rings are angle, under the angle strain. Every carbon in the ring is sp3 hybridized, we know, and its angle should be 109.28, but here the angle is 90 degree, it is under angle strain. So when this type of intermediate is formed, uh, then there is a bond shift, like this bond, 2,5 bond that breaks, a new bond is formed between 1 and 5. So this is known as ring expansion. What is the driving force behind this ring expansion? Stability of the ring. The ring is now under the less angle strain, so it will become a 5 member ring. So this is your 1, okay? This is your 2, 3, 4, and 5. Add 2 here, a methyl group. Add 1 again here, a methyl group. And where will be the positive charge? Positive charge will be appear at <coughs> your. Uh, Okay, here is a positive charge. So bond two bond between two and five that takes. Bond between one and five is new bond formed. Positive charge will be appear at number two. So this is a carbocation. It's also a three degree carbocation. Then this Br negative ion attack on this electrophile to produce the final. Here is a Br. So this is your final product. Without stereochemistry, if you want to study stereochemistry, then the results will be different. Okay, so this is about the ring expansion. So when in alkene, alkene which act as a nucleophile, 
When we add some acid like HCl, HBr, HI, H2SO4, then what happened? It acts as a nucleophile. It abstracts proton and produces carbocation. And we know that carbocation is a polymer. And if you see the stereochemistry, you get the enantiomers. Like uh, simple, if you take a simple example, like suppose you have a, uh, you, you say the So this is the butuanine, okay. And positive charge when you add a positive ion, so this double bond attack on it, the positive charge will be appear on this carbon. And there is one hydrogen also. Now this carbon is sp2 hybridized. It means it is planar. Now we have a nucleophile. We are adding some nucleophile, say OH negative ion, or you can take water. Then water add here by two ways. Because this carbocation is plain, is a plain Dutch metal. So water molecule may attack from below or from up, from any side, giving two products like this. If if it's adding above the plane. Hydrogen go down and after the H positive release karne ke baad, we get this alcohol or we get this so two possibilities are there these are enantiomers so carbocation is planar that's why water molecule may attack from top may attack from the bottom and ultimately give these Okay, got it. So this is about the stereochemistry. What will be the product when we take any alkene and adding some acid or some means undergo some electrophilic addition reaction? What will be the nature of the product that enantiomers are formed? Because when carbocations are there, there is an equal probability that that nucleophile may attack from the top, may attack from the bottom. If this water molecule attack from the top, water will go below, below the plane. And if the water will attack backside, then this uh, hydrogen that will come up. So two isomers are formed, and these isomers are known as enantiomers. Enantiomers. Next section of alkene is addition of uh, Br2. Say. I am taking a very simple example. So we have a CH3, CH double bond CH2, adding Br2 in the presence of non polar solvent CCl4. What happened there? Which is electrophile, which is nucleophile, obviously, this uh, is electron rich, is acting as a nucleophile. So when this bromine Otherwise, bromine is a non-polar molecule. But when it comes close to the carbon-carbon double bond, there is a shift, shifting of electron, like electrons of the Br that moves away, like this. This is a flow of electron away. It's push the electron away. This bromine get partial negative. This bromine get partial positive. Okay. Now this nucleophile attack on this bromine and this bromine is out as a Br negative. What happened actually when this type of bond is there like we have a double bond and here is a Br molecule this Br is negative this Br is positive so there are six electrons on each because otherwise it's a neutral molecule partial positive and partial negative only appear when it comes close to the electron cloud, the electrons of Br bond that push away, when it comes close to this, the electron push away towards the other bromine which is away from it, that get partial negative charge. So this bromine, there is a pi bond, so suppose this bromine is at, at shift here or attack on this bromine, okay, and synergic attack, due to lone pair of electron that attack on the carbon, and because it's a partial positive charge to form a bond and we get a, this type of uh, structure you know is a Br here and this will be out positive and here 
and uh, these two electrons they forming a bond here and one electron pair of bromine forming a bond here that's why it gets a positive charge this is your cyclic bromium ion this is your cyclic bromium ion highly unstable species we know that cyclopropane ring is highly unstable but it when it involves some bromide br positive ion bromium ion it become still more more unstable so now another nucleophile produces br negative so where this br negative will attack now br negative is nucleophile you know if it is nucleophile it means this species must be electrophile where is the electrophilic center the main task is this agar aapko ye pata chal jayega ki kahan pe attack karega kaise karega then there is no need to memorize these organic reactions so now where is electrophilic center maine bataya tha ki br positive ke upar positive charge ka ye matlab nahi hai ki this is electrophilic center because br positive ke charge hai that is due to covalency bromine has a complete octet it is not electron deficient electrophilic center wo hota hai jis pe electron deficiency ho aur bromine ke upar electron deficiency nahi hai kyunki uski octet complete hai to kahan hai electron deficiency we know that nature don't like charge nature ko charge nahi chahiye to bromine ke upar charge hai to bromine kya karega it tries to balance its charge try to neutralize its charge by drawing electron either these two electrons or i or these two electron and when it withdraw electrons the positive charge appear on this or this means it will act it is it will exist in the two ways like this either bromine is here positive charge bond is formed and bromine withdraw these electrons and here we get small amount of positive charge another thing either bromine is forming bond with this iske sath iska bond bana hua hai और ये बॉन्ड जो है वो टूटने जा रहा है पॉजिटिव चार्ज में रिपेयर हो दिस सो इट एग्जिस्ट एक्चुअली एग्जिस्ट इन दिस फॉर्म बिकॉज इट इज हाई स्ट्रेंथ साइक्लिक कंपाउंड तो इसमें एक बॉन्ड टूटेगा कौन सा बॉन्ड टूटेगा व्हिच विल गिव अ मोर स्टेबल कार्बोकटाइल अब देखिए वेयर इज इलेक्ट्रोफिलिक सेंटर आइदर दिस कार्बन और दिस कार्बन आइदर दिस कार्बन नंबर 1 और दिस कार्बन नंबर 2 हियर दिस कार्बन नंबर 2 एंड हियर इज अ कार्बन नंबर 1 Where the nucleophile will attack? So, which which is more stable out of these two? Where the positive charge likes to stay? Positive charge कहाँ पे जाना चाहेगा? One पे, two पे, two पे because that's more stable. So it means the amount of this is will be more than the than this. So so this Br negative ion will attack on this carbon to produce structure like this. When it attack on this carbon, this ring will be open. So we have a Br here. and we have a br here so this is your final product so yahan se humne ye note kiya ki when we are at when we add br2 to this double bond this two br two bromine atoms they are added anti to each other one above one below okay so this is anti addition ab isme thoda sa change karte hain reaction mein change kya karte hain isme मैं क्या कर देता हूं यहां पे CCl4 को हटा देते हैं कार्बन टेट्राक्लोराइड को हटा दिया देन एफ को थे वाटर देन वट एपन वट विल बी द इफेक्ट ऑफ दी प्रोडक्ट फर्स्ट दिस इज अ इलेक्ट्रोफाइल अटैक ऑन ओवर मीन सेम वे एस सी एच थ्री सो नाउ यू कैन ट्राइट लाइक दिस एंड वेट अ पॉजिटिव चार्ज फेयर One is your Br, other is your water. Water is also acts as a nucleophile, but water is in excess because that is solvent. Bromine is added in small amount. Water is in excess, so probability is that 
वाटर मॉलिक्यूल अटैक ऑन दिस रिंग नाउ इज अमिलर वे जैसे ब्रोमाइड आय ने किया था ऐसे ही अब इसके ऊपर कौन अटैक करेगा वाटर मॉलिक्यूल तो क्या हो गया यहां पे ओ एच एच पॉजिटिव चार्ज आ गया इसके ऊपर तो चार्ज स्पीशीज स्टेबल नहीं होती तो ऑटोमेटिकली ये क्या कर देगा एच को छोड़ देगा एच को छोड़ देगा तो ये इलेक्ट्रॉन पेयर इसको मिल गए वट इज द प्रोडक्ट प्रोडक्ट फॉर्म दिस 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 रिएक्शन इज कॉल हेलो हाइड्रेन हेलो हाइड्रेन ब्रोमो हाइड्रेन इफ ब्रोमीन इज यूजिंग ब्रोमो हाइड्रेन इफ इज यूजिंग क्लोरिन इज क्लोरो हाइड्रेन सो दिस प्रोडक्ट इज फॉर्म Which product is not possible here? As we know that both the OH is not possible. One bromine must be there in the product. Because why? Because when the reaction takes place, this is a nucleophile. It will attack first on this bromine, not on water. Water itself is a nucleophile. So in this way, we can now find easily where the reactant is going to attack. When intermediate is formed, what happened next? So just keep in mind, just try to recognize where is the electrophilic center and which is nucleophile and where it's going to attack. Why Br positive is not electrophile? You must know each and everything. That's why I have told you that the orbital is the electron that is in which orbital is in negative charge, which is on the other side, positive charge, which is on the other side. That is clear. Then only you can learn organic. It's not difficult. एक बार इंटरेस्ट की बात है वेन यू डू सच टाइप ऑफ रिएक्शन आगे मैं और भी करवाऊंगा तो आप धीरे धीरे इसको देखते जाना आपको आती है रिएक्शन पहले से लेकिन फिर भी थोड़ी सी अप्रोच जो है आपको चेंज करनी है देन देर विल बी नो नीड टू मेमराइज दीज रिएक्शन ओके थैंक यू